Jessica Sims writes, hey, Movie Talk crew. Okay, first of all, I have to tell you, I haven't seen The Force Awakens yet. My theater is completely sold out all the time, so I'm hoping to see it tomorrow. So without giving anything away, I was wondering about shrinking the universe. John has said a couple of times that he doesn't like it when Star Wars shrinks the universe, but he also seems to like the idea of Snoke being Darth Plagueis. Wouldn't that be shrinking the universe too? Love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, it's funny. I got a lot of people were tweeting me and asking me about that. And, and here's basically what I would I would say to that. An individual doesn't shrink the universe. An individual just being there and being present does not shrink the universe. Uh, Han Solo being in the original Star Wars trilogy and spoiler alert, he's in The Force Awakens. Han Solo being in The Force Awakens doesn't shrink the universe. Just him being him and being that character. That's actually consistency. That's not shrinking the universe. That's consistency. So to me, individual characters do not shrink the universe. What does shrink the universe is the connection between multiple characters. That shrinks the universe. C-3PO being in the prequels does not shrink the universe. C-3PO was built by Anakin Skywalker. That shrinks the universe. Um, so like it's, it's those connections, it's those things. Those are the things that shrink them down. An individual character in and of themselves, to me, doesn't shrink the universe. It, it, like if Lando Calrissian shows up in uh, in a new Star Wars movie sometime, that doesn't shrink the universe. Saying that Lando Calrissian is actually Finn's dad, that shrinks the universe. It's that connective tissue that then pulls the whole universe together and makes everything feel shrunk and smaller to me. So. For me personally, no, that one example, that doesn't shrink the universe. It's what the potential connections they're in, that's the thing that might shrink the universe. How would you approach that question? I actually think that this particular example would expand the universe because- I agree, actually, because yeah. Because you had this character in episode three that was briefly mentioned. So are we going to hear more about this person? Um, what happens, for, why does it connect other parts that we didn't know about before? Are there new yeah, Let's be components? careful how we answer just because no, there's I'm, something I know, I know, it, yeah. I'm just saying, are there new components? Like, who knows? We don't know. So if if there was indeed uh, Darth Plagueis at all, I think that that to me could expand it. Now I do think that there are other times that you could shrink it, but it also depends on how it's developed in the, in the future of it. Sure. Right? Didn't uh, didn't uh, Palpatine say he could create you know f you know f manipulate uh, yeah, Florence, yeah, and not die, right? right? Cheap death. So uh, yeah, who knows if they're actually connected in the new movie. Uh, they some fan actually put the the themes back to back and played them and it's the same exact theme when Palpatine is talking about Plagueis as then when you see Snoke it's the same exact theme I don't know if that's that's not a spoiler that's just that's just a fact at this point yeah. if you listen to the music um, you know what I I don't think it shrinks the universe for Star Wars at all to connect anything because if you're just looking at the very first three Star Wars movies everything is about the Skywalkers and you don't really know it from the first movie, the star, the very first star Wars film, but in the second film, they connect Darth Vader to Luke Skywalker. And then in, in the third film, they connect Luke Skywalker to princess Leia right. to Darth Vader. So in essence, the films have always been small. They've always been about a very small lineage of a family. The prequels did the same exact thing, and I think these new tr this new trilogy is going to also follow suit and be specifically about the Skywalker family. And uh, you'll see when you see Force Awakens. I won't say any more about that, but that's my feeling about it. I don't think that makes it small in any way. I just see that that's the story structure. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.